Hey guys, just cleaning out my tool bag. Figured I'd make a little video of some of the electrical and HVAC tools that I use. Um, just general purpose stuff. Uh, this is an AWP open top bag. It's a great little bag. Um, carries everything that I need. All the tools are accessible. You know, can't complain too much. So, on the outside, we got the tape strap with uh, some electrical tape. The cheap stuff use the hell out of this. On this side is mostly pliers. Um, in here we have a um, little razor scraper. This is great for getting goop off of surfaces. Uh, replacement blades for a razor knife that's floating around here somewhere. A set of Allen keys. Uh, this one is metric standard. This one's falling apart. I'm going to have to get a new one of these soon. Air vice grips. Some channel locks. Uh, these are Craftsman branded, but they're actually uh, the same as Nipix. They're just rebranded. I uh, got these two to a pack. Um, probably if I was going to buy these again, I'd get uh, Another one of the larger size. I don't use the small ones too much, um, but for basically two for the price of one, you can't beat them. Wire strippers, these are the ones I use 90% of the time. Uh, they're simple yet effective. I believe these are Ideal brand. Some more wire strippers. Um, again, these came two to a pack. Don't really use them that often. Um, I use the smaller ones because they go all the way up to 30 gauge wire. Um, let's see, yeah, from 20 all the way to 30. And I had a couple of projects where uh, I was stripping some magnetic uh, wire that's pretty thin gauge. So came in real handy for that. Linesman pliers, these are awesome. Uh, these are Nipix brand. Um, use these for just about everything, and they've held up much better than the Kleins that I've had and uh, the cheap uh, Greenleys I've had in the past. Um, you know, I mean, they're they're excellent pliers. They still fall open, and I've had these for years. So, great, great pliers. Highly recommended. Um, the other thing that's cool about them is the fish tape cooler in there. You never realized how handy that comes in when you're using a steel fish tape. It really saves your hands. Crimpers. Um, these are Klein. Use these for stake on connectors. Needle nose. These are also Nipix. Um, Great, great little needle nose pliers. They're extremely thin and long, so you can reach in and uh, grab stuff. Love these things. Diagonal cutters, these are Klein. They have the angle head on them, so you can, uh, if you need to remove some staples, you can reach down in there, pop them up, uh, or, cut, or cut something uh, flush with the surface. Highly recommend if you're going to get diagonal cutters, you get the ones with the angle head on them. So, love these things. Also, You'll notice all my pliers are uh, dipped grip. Um, the cushion grips are okay, but they tend to slide off after a while, and they're just more expensive, so I always get uh, dipped handles. On this side, we have a little stubby pick quick screwdriver with some Torx bits, um, Phillips, and uh, flathead for getting into a small. Um, fasteners comes in handy. A couple of thermostat screwdrivers, uh, Phillips and flathead, a straighter tool on the end. Set of bits, um, primarily used for uh, let's see here, these gear wrenches. These things are awesome. Um, they cover a whole range of sizes and they only require just a few degrees of movement. Great for getting into tight spaces. This 
one does 3 eighths, half inch, 5 sixteenths, and 7 sixteenths. And then of course you've got the adapter for bits in there. This one does 11 sixteenths, 9 sixteenths, uh, 3 quarter, and 5 eighths. Got an awesome little uh, inspection flashlight. Looks like it's got some junk um, caught on the magnet on the bottom. But uh, that magnet's really handy. You can uh, put it on a metal surface and uh, you know you don't have to use your hands. It also extends out so you can get into tight spaces. The head on it is also flexible. Sorry, it's kind of hard to do this one-handed. But uh, got a flexible head with a mirror so you can get inside of a wall, see what's going on, on inside there or behind a cabinet or something. Really handy little flashlight. Got the channel lock, code blue, adjustable wrench. This thing's awesome for a little tiny uh, wrench. I believe this is a six inch, but it opens as wide as an eight inch. Love this little thing. Got the non-contact voltage tester. Um, wouldn't trust my wife to this thing, but it works, does what you need it to do. You know, it's just a cheap little gadget. Little brush um, for cleaning up. Uh, you know, if you have to drill a hole or something, you can kind of clean out the shavings, filings, whatever. Shove it in there, kind of twist it around. Uh, GFI outlet tester. Got super 33 tape in here. This stuff is awesome uh, for when you need something a little heavier duty than the cheapo electrical tape. Uh, this stuff is very durable. Um, does flame retardant, and uh, you know it's it's a little nicer than the cheap stuff. Extra batteries for the non-contact voltage tester. Got some junk in there. Uh, got some small little Klein screwdrivers. Um, they're awesome for doing controls, thermostats, um, also battery compartments if you need to change the batteries on your meter or something. Got a quarter inch uh, screwdriver, Phillips. 5 sixteenths, longer shank, kind of a beater screwdriver. Cabinet tip. Uh, quarter inch and 5 sixteenths hollow shank nut drivers. Uh, cheapo level. Uh, this one has a magnet that doesn't stick very well. Another level, I'm not sure why I have two, but I do. Uh, this is a hacksaw that I'm gonna have to replace because the blade does not lock in there anymore. Um, primarily use this for doing uh, remodel work, um, cutting out old boxes, getting the nails out. Um, the nice thing about this was the uh, head on it actually angles. So that was kind of cool, but uh, gonna need a new one of those. My meter, this one is uh, Amprobe, which I believe is a uh, fluke. Uh, same people that make fluke, I believe. A great general purpose meter. Got a tape. Um, spreader here. Again, mostly use this when I was doing HVAC. Great for getting bubbles out. A uh, stud sensor, or stud finder rather. Looks like a dimmer switch. Not sure why I have this, that's garbage. Headlamp.
various jumper wires and K-type probe for the meter. Uh, low voltage ring. Random cable tie. And that looks like about it. That's all the stuff I carry. Thanks for watching.